authorities in two states continue investigating the actions of a man who shot and killed someone and injured another. Fox 33's Dominique Dillon talks to neighbors who tried to make sense of all of this. Dominique? That's right, Markel. Neighbors say they're shocked. A man they saw every day would do something like this. It's scary knowing that something like that happened just up the road from where I live. Neighbors react to the news. 56-year-old James Salone shot and killed 75-year-old Kenneth Raymond Smith in Harrison County, injured another man in Keithville, and held his ex-girlfriend and her two kids hostage before committing suicide in Shreveport. It does make you stop and think a little bit that, you know, now that that's happened, it could happen anywhere. It could happen right next door. According to the Cattle Sheriff's Office, Salone was convicted of aggravated rape in March 1982 and was released in 2003. My heart goes out to the family and, and the people who who were involved. John Daniel has lived in Keithville since the 80s and says nothing like this has ever happened. Everybody on this road knows me. We always wave. Sometimes we'll meet in the road and chit chat. Although he didn't know Salone personally, he says he's always been friendly. I've never had any problems with him. Mm -hmm. uh, we've just been good neighbors on everybody on this road mm -hmm. is very unusual. Daniel says this tragedy has rocked their town and they plan to be more vigilant. There's problems in the world. Mm -hmm. Everybody deals with their own problem their own way. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sad that we, like you said like I told you earlier they brought somebody else into it. And during yesterday's three hour standoff neighbors were told to stay in a nearby church to remain safe. Back to you. Def